We're back again for only two sessions left of the LIT Home Workout with me, David Reedy, and in conjunction with our local media partners. As I said on Monday, we're going to do a core workout today. Again, there's only two X or two workouts left today and Friday. A core workout today and a, a, a hit workout on Friday. So again, core workout, not much of warm needed. We go straight into the workout. So we're going to be working for 24 seconds and we're going to bring that uh, recovery break down only to about 15 seconds. Again, eight exercises, we're going for three cycles, so let's get going. The again, first work, our first, no, we don't need any equipment, so the first exercise we're doing is the Russian twist. Just need a bottle of water for that. Again, we'll be sitting down on our mat, feet up in the air, just about six inches off the ground, and touching the bottle off either side. We're going for 24 seconds, continuous. Then, as I said, we've a uh, 15 second break. Again, I just press the timer on here. Starting your tablet on workout. Get ready. And we'll have a minute off between each cycle. We get ready, so we go in three seconds. Exercise. Let's go, feet up, 24 seconds. Keep their feet as steady as possible. Bottom touching the ground off either side. You're in that kind of V position with your back, sitting on your bum. That's good, go on, 10 seconds left. Most of these exercises we've done in the past two weeks, we all know, we all know them. And stop, 15 seconds off. Going into cycling now. So again, feet up in the air, uh, 90 degrees. We move down our right le leg, and our right elbow will be touching the left knee, and vice versa. Let's, let's go. So vice versa, back into the straight position, left elbow off your right knee. Again, continuous with 24 seconds. Don't have to touch, just let them, just about touch. You're, you're just that motion, a bit of an angle. That's good going. Really tough work this will be. Rest. And rest. Going into our walkouts. Again, feet up, standing up, walking out with your hands, keep them legs as straight as possible. Get into that pressure position and move our leg, uh, hands out further. Walk back. Exercise. Let's go, let's exercise. Again, probably better off if you don't use the mat. Once we get into that pressure position, see if we move out further with our hands. And then back up. Again, 12 seconds remain. Let's keep going. That's good work. Press the position and walk out further. Keep that back straight, that body in a straight line. Can we get one more in? Recovery, rest. Again, this is a different one, one leg sit ups. So again, I a halfway through, lying back, leg up in the air, and try and touch the toe. Continuous. Let's go. So left leg in the air, right hand touching it. If you can't touch it, just touch up as far as you can in the machine. And switch. Right hand, right leg in the air, left hand touching the right leg. Well done. Let's go going really tough. Rest. And rest. Into a plank. And then we have two side planks. So again, we'll be holding the plank for 24 seconds. Going into our right side, holding that for 24 seconds. Let's go. If the plank is too hard, go onto your knees and hold down your knees. That's good going. Well done, keep that up. Don't drop the plank, with 10 seconds remaining. Well done, five seconds to go. We're nearly there. Rest. And rest. Into our right side. We've, we're going in another 10 seconds. So again, on our plank position, get them hips up into the air. If that's too hard, onto your knees. Again, get them that hips into the air. Let's go, hold this for 24 seconds. Well done, hips into the air, get that body in a straight line. Your, your hand that's on top can either be on your hip, straight up into the air, doesn't matter. We're holding that for another seven seconds. That's good work. Just looking at the time. Well done, rest. We're going to the other, other side, again. 
holding that for 20 or 24 seconds. Again, same thing, other side. Start off on your legs. If that gets too difficult, onto your knees. Hand in, let's go, hand in the air or hand on the hip. Either, either, doesn't make a difference, either. Well done, that's good work. Again, we're, we're tensing our left side of this core is working here. So again, when you push them hips up, we'll be able to feel it working this side of the core, side of the belly. Rest. Rest. Again, we 15 seconds, we're staying on the ground. We'll be with slide ups. So again, knees bent, and you're sliding up, touching the tops of your knees. Feet firmly on the ground, slide up, touch the tops of your knees, and back you go. Exercise. Let's go, exercise. Well done. Pace doesn't matter, but just don't stop on the ground and rest completely. We'll have a long rest after this. Well done. Keep that going. Getting really difficult now. Rest. And rest. Again, we 15 seconds before we go into dead bugs. And lying on our back, feet up at 90 degrees, hands up. We're going right leg down, left hand down. And then back up, opposite. Dead bugs, left hand, right leg, keep going. That's good going. Well done. This is our last exercise. Hands and feet don't touch the ground. Just hold in about six inches off the ground. Back up into our starting position. Well done, keep pushing that on. Rest. And rest. We have a minute and 10 seconds off. We're going to our second round in. Take a drink of water. We have three cycles of that to do. Again, really working our core here, our lower core, the sides with our side planks. It's working the whole core. Again, we're engaging the core in each exercise, soak that tummy in, make it nice and hard. We're not going for another 50 seconds. And again, I just, yeah, we're going 50 seconds, again, starting off with the Russian twists. Get that second bottle of water, feet up in the air, sitting down, touch it on your side. Go in 30 seconds. Still have a bit, of a, a bit more of a recovery. Again, we're only doing three cycles. It's nice, quick work. Total of, I think, 12, 14 or 15 minutes. Just going by the time we're there of actual work. Just getting this mat going in a position again. We're going in 10 seconds. So get that bottle of water. Get ready, again, sitting down, feet up, six inches off the ground, cross, and we're touching the bottle off either side. Let's go. Make sure we touch the bottle off the ground. Well done, that's good work. Try and keep their feet as steady as possible. And there are 12 seconds. Again, we're holding the bottom with both hands. Five seconds to go. Well done. Oh, we dropped it. And recovery. 15 seconds off. We're going straight into our cycling. Again, I just face this way this time. We're going in five. Again, feet up. Right elbow to left knee. Exercise. Let's go. Well done, that's good work now. We're on our second cycle. We don't have one more of these to go, it's really tough work. But don't give up. Again, pace doesn't matter. It's about the quality of them. We're just doing that motion, left to right. Yes. And recovery. We're back into our walkout, probably better off, off the mat. Again, feet straight, walk out as far as we can, and back up. We're going in three seconds. And let's go. Walk out, feet, hands go as far as we can, and back up. Well done. And again. Press the position, and hands just going that bit further. Keep forever. If not, we just walk back up. And we get one more in, there's five seconds left. Hands going as far as they can, and back up. For recovery. Again, we're going to our one leg sit ups. So, on the ground, one knee bent, other leg up in the air, right leg up in the air, 
left hand touching, touching the ankle continuously. I'll tell you when to switch. Let's go. Keep working. And switch. Left leg in the air, right hand touching the ankle. Again, that bit of a, a curve on it, a bit of an angle. Keep working. Well done. Rest. And rest. Into our plank. Again, we will plank for 24 seconds, holding that plank with our feet up. When that gets too difficult, drop onto your knees and continue that 24 seconds. Let's go. Again, our body in a straight line. That's all we want. We don't want our bum down in an arch shape or we don't want the bum up into the air. Again, we're still holding that for another 10 seconds. That's good going. Well done. Five seconds to go. Keep holding it. Going into our side core then. Well done. Into our side plank. Another 10 seconds off. Again, really feeling the stomach now. Everyone's in the same boat. Let's push yours on. Push yourself on. Go on in two, one, up we get. Let's go. Again, left our hips up into the air. Whatever head is on top, it can either be on your hip or straight up into the air. It doesn't make a difference. If you want to advance that a bit more, okay, the leg that's on top, just lift that into a star shape. Well done, four seconds left. Three, two, one. Rest. We're going to the opposite side. Same thing, holding that for 24 seconds. We really feel the side of our, our belly here. Okay, hold on your feet. If it gets too difficult, on your knees. And let's go, let's up. Holding that. If you want, lift that, that leg on top into that bit of a V shape, into the stair shape. Gets a lot difficult, a lot more difficult. Well done. Nearly there. Three, two, one, and rest. Into our slide ups now. Again, sitting on the floor, knees bent, and just sliding up to the tops of your knees. Two more exercises to go. Exercise. Let's exercise. Just slide up to the tops of your knees. You don't have to sit up fully, you're just up to the tops of your knees. Well done. Keep pushing yourself on as I said. We have two exercises left. Nearly there now. Three, two, Rest. one. Into our last exercise, into our dead bugs. With that cycle done. So again, we'll be lying on our back, feet up into the air, hands up into the air, right hand with left leg. Let's go. Don't touch them off the ground. Keep them a couple of inches off the ground when they're straight out and continuously back into the, the steady position. Well done. That's really good work. Nearly there now. Excellent stuff. Last couple of seconds. Rest. And rest. Well done. We have a full minute recovery. Over a minute, should I say. Make use of it. <coughs> Don't worry about the timer. We've just six minutes of work to do, and then we have our three cycles done. This last cycle is going to be really testing on the body. It's just a matter of mind over matter. Let's push yourself to it. Keep telling yourself you can do it, no matter how tough it gets. You'll be able to do it, you'll be able to finish off the, the final cycle. It's our second last uh, home workout with LIT and in conjunction with our local media partners. So let's push on. One more cycle to go. Again, we have 20 seconds left. We'll be starting off with the Russian twists. Let's get ready. Again, we're going 10 seconds. Get that full bottle. Our feet will be up in the air. It's about five or six inches and we'll be swapping sides with the bottle. Exercise. Let's go. Two hands on the bottle. 
Getting that bit of a curve. Getting the ball to touch the ground every time. That's good work. 12 seconds left. It's our last time doing these. So let's push it on. Three seconds left. And rest. That's good work. Again, we're going to our cycling. Staying on the ground, lying flat, fat, lying flat back on your back. Going in four seconds. Exercise. Right, so left elbow to right knee. Don't have to touch, it's just that motion in that leg moving into that angle. Well done, that's really tough. Go on, getting them knees back every time. Can really feel this now. Last couple of seconds and rest. Take the rest. Stay on our backs. Oh no, we're up on our feet, sorry, it's really doing our walkouts, get off the mat. Easier to do it off the mat. Walk them hands out as far as we can. After the push up position if you can. Exercise. Let's go. Push up position and walk them out and back up. And down again. Push up position, walk them out and back up. It's really, really tough. Another one. Push up position, walk them out, back up. Three seconds left, one more walk out. And rest. Well done. Back onto your mat. Doing the one leg uh, sit ups. So, again, right leg up in the air, left hand touching that ankle if you can. If you can't touch that ankle, just as far up the shin you can, you can get it. Let's go. Well done, this is really tough going. We're losing the same muscle snare the whole in every exercise. And switch, nearly flat to switch legs. Keep going. Let's do the opposite for a couple of extra seconds, seeing as we've got. And rest. I don't have to some work. Into our plank now. Come to the end of, the, of our, our uh, circuit. Into plank position. Let's go. Again, up on your, on your toes. When that gets too difficult, drop onto your knees. 15 seconds to go. Don't stop now, hold in that position. Well done. Keep pushing yourself, drive yourself on. Three seconds left. And recovery. Going to side plank. Another 10 seconds before we get going. Again, try start on your, on your, on your legs. When it gets too difficult, drop down to your knee. And we're going. Keep them hips up into the up into the ceiling. Don't let them drag down. We want our body in a straight line. Another 12 seconds to go. That's good work, everyone. Five seconds left. Nearly there. And rest. Going into our opposite side. Again, 10 seconds before we get going. Our third last exercise. We're going in three, two, one. Let's get that body up. 24 seconds. Keep them hips up into the air. Hand can be either on the hip or straight up into the touch, trying to touch the ceiling. Well done. Well, I'm nearly there now. Rest. Excellent work. Rest again. Going into our slide ups. Again, lying on our back, knees bent. And just slide up, touching the top of your knees. Exercise. Let's go. Just sliding up. Once you can touch the top of your knees, that's excellent. Back down. Feet firmly planted on the ground. Second last exercise. Well done. Nearly there. Rest. And rest. Going to our last exercise, which are dead bugs. Stand lying on the ground. 
Feet and hands in the air. Left leg going straight, what right hand going straight. Just a couple of inches off the ground. Exercise. And then opposites. Let's go. Every second leg. Left side, right side, and vice versa with the hands. Don't touch the ground, it's our last exercise. Don't stop, give that to them full seconds. The full 24 seconds. We're nearly there now. Rest. And rest. That's excellent. That's our workout done. Just press that stop button. Recover, workout pause. That's excellent. Take a drink of water. It's really, really good work. Again, 15 minute uh, workout, all targeting the core, the belly, and surrounding areas. Again, we can push into our full volume now, we don't need it for our Russian twists anymore. But again, this is just an example of what you can do. You, if you want, if that's too easy for you, if that's too hard for you, you can extend the time, shorten the time, extend the recovery time, and you can do it by yourself at home. And throughout the last, I suppose, three weeks, you have a full range of different exercises, all body weight exercises that you can do at home. And it's putting a combination together that will, te or that will, that will benefit you, putting a time together that will benefit you, that will also challenge you to, to push, your, push yourself and push your body to a new level. But again, really good work. And again, I'd like to thank everyone that sent in their pictures and videos um, to the LIT social media channels that we, that we, we used um, last weekend. And any more pictures and videos you have, and even a few TikToks if you, if you, if you made them, send them in and we get, you, get to use them at the end, at the end of the three week program. Excellent work and well done. See you on Friday for our last session of LIT Home Workout. Cheers.